scientists have hypothesized that, after a restricted developmental period where the nervous system is particularly sensitive to the effects of a certain experience, in this case, language, it is nearly impossible to learn it. Healthy ecosystems maintain this balance by eliminating factors, environmental conditions that restrict the size or range of a species. These include things like natural geography and climate, food availability, and the presence or absence of predators. Once memory has been encoded, it can be remembered or retrieved later. Memories are stored all over the brain, and it's likely the prefrontal cortex that signals for their retrieval. So how does stress affect each of these stages? One of the most striking properties about life is that it has color. To understand the phenomenon of color, it helps to think about light as a wave. But, before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about waves in general. The sensation of fullness is set in motion as food moves from your mouth down your esophagus. Once it hits your stomach, it gradually fills the space. That causes the surrounding muscular wall to stretch, expanding slowly like a balloon. That is very different from what we do when we're in our performance zone, which is when our goal is to do something as best as we can, to execute. Then we concentrate on what we have already mastered and we try to minimize mistakes. A PPT is given, and you can read it accordingly. This lecture compares the conditions on the Earth and Mars, as well as the habitability of Mars. There are some similarities such as polar caps, atmospheres, and water climate. But Mars and the Earth also have lots of difference.
There are same value structures that apply to all of us. You couldn't have the United Nations without it. It couldn't tell you that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights without this idea of values that apply to all of us just because we are humans. There's evidence that when people feel more satisfied with their social relations, they will feel happier, in turn, when people feel happier, they will get more satisfied with social relations. Happy people tend to be social more with friends and have more interaction between family. Straight salary sales compensation plans aren't very common, but they do have a place in some organizations. With this type of structure, you'd pay your salespeople a straight albeit competitive salary like all of your other employees, and nothing else. There is no guarantee of income. These types of plans are easier to administer than salary plus commission and provide better value for your money paid as they are based solely on sales achieved. You could argue this kind of digital detox would be beneficial. We take our eyes off our screens, then strike up real-life conversations with each other. We've discovered that our smartphones can actually make phone calls. We bring back fax machines. Take wet fabric, if you zoom in far enough, there is no wetness. There are just molecules sitting in the spaces between the atoms of the cloth. Wetness is an emerging property of water. Something new only created by a lot of individual interactions between water molecules. This kind of approach is kind of the way some students approach preparing for standardized tests. In order to get test scores to go up, teachers will end up teaching to the test. Now, that approach can work, test results often do go up.
Studies of brain imaging have even shown changes in areas of the brain that relate to judgment, decision-making, learning, memory, and behavior control. So, is this what's happening with Facebook and social media? It's hard to say for sure.